Alright, boys and girls, welcome back to episode 2. Hang on, let me turn up my sound so that you guys can hear the game. Because who doesn't like to hear this beautiful music going on? And I think it might actually be overshadowing my voice a little. Alright. So. I finally have all the gold treasures for all the levels that we've completed so far. And if you wanna know what that does, you'll see when we get to a level. Anyway, so, so far I've upgraded Worker Cat to level four, Wallet to three, Research to three, Study to six plus one, and Cat Energy to five. I also upgraded Ninja Cat to level three. Saw since we defeated all of these stages. The two stages I was stuck on was Mongolia and Thailand. It took me nine tries to get the golden treasure on Mongolia and eight to get it on Thailand. And usually it takes more. So we lucked out. Anyway, so we're going to be attempting Australia now. So what I like to do, because as you can see, our money is going insanely fast. We're just going to spawn in a bunch of ninja cats and run through these levels as quickly as possible. And we're going to try and get to Greece and unlock that new cat. Which I most likely will but not be using because that cat is not that good, honestly. I didn't upgrade it till recently on my other account. And I don't know how it, what role it plays in this after, because you get certain cats that can affect the same traded enemy as that one. Now, if I recall, I haven't told you guys about traded enemies. So all these white enemies are... They're normal enemies. They have no special traits. Almost every single white enemy will be like that. And we'll be coming up on an enemy that is a different color. And when we get to that... Please don't tell me I just accidentally spent... Something. I don't know what I just did. I wasn't paying attention to my phone. I was just clicking. And so like I was saying, we'll become acquainted with other color versions of these animals. Now first, we'll start off with an animal that doesn't have a white version. It is a piggy or peach. I like to call it either or. I mean, they both work. And Peach is a red enemy, which this cat has a special effect where it's good against red enemies. And I'll show you that after this game. Come on, come on, destroy the base. As you can see, this is why I told you you should unlock Ninja Cat, because like I said, it's really good for speedrunning a couple stages, you get treasures pretty quickly, it's great to have. And we are now at ma Max Worker Cat, and our max money available. I don't know why I just did that, I'm so used to the range being a lot further, I was just playing on my other account. And that's a lot of ninja cats. We also got a ner normal merlion. So what I'm gonna do... We got a new cat, boys. We're gonna go get our new cat. It is cow cat. Now the problem with this one is it requires 4,000 XP to unlock. And that's why I didn't spend any XP after defeating that last stage. We're gonna unlock this cat. Cow cat thinks quick acts quick and uses his head run like the wind 
He is very... He is an expensive boy. I will upgrade that cat again. And we also unlock Sumo Cat, which, like I said, requires cat food. But do not spend it on Sumo Cat. Sumo Cat is a better version of Tank Cat, but spending 150 at this early in the game is not worth it. At some point later in the future, we will be unlocking every single one of these cat food cats, but that will not be now. We're going to go grab XP. I mean, no, sorry, cat food for unlocking this cat. I still think this is pretty loud. And now I think that's too quiet. Uh, you guys weren't supposed to see that. All right. Let's go make sure he's in our equipped. He is not equipped. That would have been extremely bad. So the way I like to order my cats is from least money to greatest money. Because later on, like I mentioned earlier about meat shielding, your meat shields usually tend to be the weaker cats. And if you're meat shielding, you gotta tap all your cats extremely fast. Oh, okay, so this teaches you how to switch units. Obviously, I know how to, I've played. But there you guys go, that's how you switch units for when you are to play. Now, I must warn you, I am not the best Battle for Cats player at all. So any of my strategies that I have, usually I make on my own. But for some of the levels that I, I will mention when we get there, I have not made my own strategies for it. And I believe this is the stage with the red keys. So I'm going to bring out both of my red busters. Both of my red killing enemies. Let me catch. Yep, there's Peej. Now, as you see, Peej's body is mostly red. I know her snout's white, but that does not mean she is a white enemy. She is a red enemy with an area attack, which she hits every single one of my cats at the same exact time. And that is not a good thing for me. But I did, however, defeat it because I have two red-killing enemies. And that's why it's so important to keep X cat during the beginning. Because Ninja Cat, as he could deal with it on his own, would not have been in his situation that I would have preferred. Now, I'm going to upgrade energy again. Because I like my energy being way upgraded. So that way I don't have to worry about running out of energy while I'm making these videos for you guys. Especially when I have to go out and get treasure after each recording. So we need Australia, India, Nepal, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Kenya, Madagascar. I don't think we're going to make it to Greece this time around. I'll come back. Yeah, Greece is 1, 4, 5, 6. 10, 13 stages away. And I don't have enough energy for 13 stages of consecutive 10 or so energies. I need 130 energy for that. But we're going to get as far, and I'll come back to you guys as soon as I'm done with more energy after I get as close as I can. Other trait list enemies do include, however, black enemies, um, floating enemies, which can be white. Floating tends to be a mix. There are some just normal floating, like one of the bosses, that is an absolute horrible fight, and nobody likes fighting this boss. There's alien enemies which we'll get into later as that is part of this story mode if you guys didn't know this is the empire of cats there are three three story modes i believe there's empire of cats into the future is where they introduce aliens 
in Cats of the Cosmos where they introduce these things called starred aliens. And here's another hippo, which is going to be troublesome for our ninja cats. But we're just going to keep on sending ninja cats out there until it kills it. Those guys aren't helping me at all with their extra damage. I might just send out a cow cat. As you can see, cow cat is very fast. And because of how fast he is, definitely helps us destroy this base a lot quicker. He doesn't have a lot of HP, but he works very well. And because of the amount of times we have upgraded... What did I unlock? Oh, I just cleared India. And we get a whole nother Winnie Cat food. Now we gotta clear up to Madagascar is the 16th stage every chapter which is this chapter one of empire of cats has 48 levels and of those 48 levels there are usually checkpoints and the last two levels tend to be with the last energy so what is this next so we need australia and india but before I do that, I would definitely prefer to get all the way to South Africa and Greece and then clear, get all the treasures going backwards because, you know, the more XP you get from the stages, the more we're able to do them without losing XP because if you complete a stage more than once, the more times you complete it, the less XP you get. So if I were to complete... Mongolia, where we got like 1,000 something XP, even as it is now, and how many XP ups I have bought with the cat base upgrades, I'd still probably get two to 300 XP instead of 1,000. Now, due to energy, and tre treasure hunting I will not be able to upload every day but I will upload once a week whether it's some random video about this that I make whether it be on this account or my high level account which isn't even high level to be honest because it's only have I just reached a user rank of 1100 so 1,100, which is pretty high. Definitely worth it. And we shall defeat this base. Must send out a cow cat. There's a quiche. And we'll still have enough for another one of these cats. So you want to continuously produce cats on these types of stages. There are some stages where you want to keep them lured towards your base. When we get there, we'll get there. There's also another strategy. If you are having problems with some stages, where if you just close out the game and reopen up the game, you're completely fine. You, get, you keep your energy, you just restart the level. You cannot set up or upgrade after or during the restart. Because once you open it back up, it'll ask you if you want to resume the level. You say yes or no. You say yes. No energy was wasted. You get to start at the beginning again. If you say no, you lose the energy that you spent. You have to fight it again, but you can upgrade your cat. So only if you're not able to do anything should you do that. Like, for example, if I weren't able to beat this stage... At the best of my ability, I'd have to go out, upgrade cats, and then I'd try again with more energy. Now, we've upgraded another stretch cat, which means we also got another one of these cats. We got bird cat. Bird cat, I do not like, personally. Because bird cat, in my opinion, kind of sucks because of his low HP. But at some point, he does work. 
So as I was saying about the um different traded enemies, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different trait enemies. There's normal, red, floating, black, metal, angel, alien, zombie, and relic enemies. And out of these, I don't have the uh, sort menu. There are different effects. There's single hit, which is this cat. Area attack, which this cat uses. This cat uses single attack. This uses single attack. There's a bunch of other ones. I will use bird cat because he is good at the beginning. I'll go collect this five cat food here in a minute because I gotta still put him into my slots. And we'll go unlock the new five <clears throat> cat food. So after completing Madagascar, we get this cat. After completing Egypt, we get this cat. And after completing Italy, we get the strongest out of all those cats, which is, I believe I use him in almost every single setup, except for certain setups. Like, it depends on what enemies a level has. It depends on what setup I'll have. Obviously, I haven't completed these levels, so it won't tell me what enemies are in them. But once you complete them, or you've been playing for a little while and you get defeated, it'll tell you what enemies are in the level. Then you can plan your strat according to that, and that's another time when you should close the app. And you should just get defeated, you shouldn't close the app if you don't know if you can take care of a level. Go revise your plan. Set up your slots and then fight. Now, I know there's a piece that comes out of here. So we're going to start sending out some of these cats too. Oh no, it's a pin. Jackie pin. So we're going to need some of those cats. Jackie pin is a really annoying cat. I mean, um really annoying enemy and there's a lot of those guys there which means that's going to be really hard for me to get through so i'm going to need some area attackers like him and bird cat and it turns out he already got destroyed tank cat just completely didn't last did he Jesus Christ. Thought he last longer than that. Come on, Jackie Ping, you need to die. Thank you, Jackie Ping. Now we'll send in a cow cat so we can destroy the base a lot faster than normal. And obviously, it'd be a lot easier to destroy levels if you upgrade your cats rather than your worker cat and other stuff but I still highly suggest doing that until you can't be a level go back get XP then upgrade your cats after collecting treasures like that that way you have your treasure not your treasure your XP boost all the way up to the max so you don't have to worry about not getting enough XP to upgrade your cats later on in the game This time we're going to upgrade three times because what I want to do is I want to send out. I want to save up money. We're going to upgrade another time. We're going to save up money and we're going to wait till they get closer to our base because this is a hippo and I want to be able to destroy it quickly. And when we get to max money, depending on how close he is, we'll either upgrade again, which we're about to actually have to do, or we'll send out, which is what we're about to do. So first we want to send out a tank cat. Gross Legs Cat, Ninja Cat, and a Axe Cat. There's a, another one of those cats. Save up for a Bird Cat. 
does Birdcat, however, is usually bad, and I won't confuse, is hiding behind Tank Cat. So he is not getting attacked, therefore, he is not in any trouble of getting killed in a couple of hits. Because Birdcat is notorious for having low HP, but high damage and high area attack. Which is very useful for enemies like those guys. I think he just one hits those guys. And as we get further into the level, there's another hippo. Hippoey. And we still defeated it because as long as the hippo is behind the base and the enemy that doesn't that comes out of the base doesn't knock us back you can cheese a level not have to worry about the strong enemy and just beat it we have just unlocked the encyclopedia which is where we can learn about enemies so you can you can go through after you've unlocked these guys i'll leave them up here on the screen for a couple of seconds if you guys want to pause the video and read them And that's all we've seen so far. So far we have 12,000 XP. You might be thinking, that's a lot of XP compared to what we've had. But if you were to look at this, it really isn't. We're gonna actually upgrade some of our range this time because we need range on our cat cannon, so it's actually useful. Now, I only have enough energy to do one more level, and seeing as this is already about 20 minutes in, depending on how long this level takes, I will see if we need to continue to grease before I end it off. Or if I'll just upload this as a double upload with episode one. You guys will know beforehand because I won't be posting until then. I'm gonna send out a ninja cat. Save up some money, upgrade some. Usually I like to get my worker cat to max so that way I don't have to worry about upgrading it while I'm fighting, which is really hard because it sucks. Now that we have a max worker cut, our money is going at full speed, going a whopping almost a hundred per second. And we should be able to defeat the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spawning in some cats. Finding my cow cat. Our cat cannon can actually reach the base with the upgrades we gave it. So usually, if you have your cat cannon range at level one, you want to lure up to a little close further than that line. But since we don't have that anymore, we're no longer gonna be able to lure to there. This level you won't have to lure, because if you do what I did, you just easily get to the base and then completely destroy it. There's only doges, doges. And now we defeat the base. Please give us a treasure. We did not get a treasure, sadly, but we did get 6,000 XP, which gives us enough to upgrade our study one more time. Now it is level 8 total. And the more XP we get, the better. Like I said before, we can watch an ad to get energy recovered. I will do that, and I will be right back. All right, we are back. We have got 34 energy back, which gives us enough to complete the Madagascar level and maybe go back and do some training for some treasures. I don't know because I only need one or two more for 
to complete the wallet upgrade. And this level is where we meet another new enemy in which I will have to have my worker cat up to max and he comes out on base hit. <clears throat> which means obviously I have to attack the base. So I don't want those guys getting close to my base and since they're going to start piling up I'm going to bring out a ninja cat. Now I don't want to attack the base so hopefully they can kill my cat quickly while I upgrade. As long as I can stall close to my base, it should be fine. I want to put out another one, and I think I did that wrong because now they are moving forward. The thing is, there are more of those guys coming out, and my cat cannon is reaching pretty far. Even if we hit the base, we can hit with complete certainty that we will be fine. I want to send out a couple cats and my strong cats first. And then start sending out those cats. As long as you send out some good cats, you should be fine on this level. It's only hard to send as the gorilla gets out, which is the enemy for this level. The main threat is what we call it. And here he comes. That is the gorilla. Gregory is his name, I believe. Or Gregory. No, it's Gory. It's Gory. My bad. Gregory is a different... I used that at the wrong time because I'm so used to it being so far. And I wanted it to not attack my gross like cat. My long reach cat. The only one that I have hope of defeating this, so I don't have to go and upgrade my cats. Which I might have to start doing. And no, we actually killed him. We should be completely fine. I'm starting to think that we do need to upgrade our cats a little though, so I'll start doing this. I wanted max energy, but it looks like we're not going to get there. Because there is a second Gregory. I mean, Gory. I keep calling him Gregory, because there's another enemy named Gory that I had to fight a while back. And we already have our cat cannon up and running here in a couple of seconds. And it looks like we didn't even need it. We're going to finish off this level. Hopefully no more gory spawn. Even if they spawn at this point, we still got their base. As I said. And we got the treasure for it too. Which means we also got that new cat. Which also includes another cat. And we'll get that in one second. We completed that mission and we got 20 cat food, leaving us with a total of 205 in the first set of energy. And we are able to unlock fish cat, exceptional melee cap capability is strong against red enemies. So usually instead of axe cat, we'll start sending out fish cat because fish cat is a lot better. And I think we should start upgrading cats. So the next cat that we got is zombie cat. Yet again, complete waste of cat food. So right now, we want to save up our cat food. I did not mean to do that. We have 3,000 XP, 3,001 XP. So what we're going to do with that is probably just save it up. Because if we can get our energy to max, then we can enjoy some better and longer episodes than 30 minutes. Probably cut down. 
And since we unlocked the cat, we can go get the cat food. I know what you're saying. Yes, you get five cat food for unlocking the ones that you pay cat food for. But that's only five in return, so it's not really worth it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Wait, before we go, I'd like to show you guys a secret to unlocking a special cat that I just remembered how to do. If you do this and you hear a meow and you do it many times in a row, you can unlock a special cat. All right, as you can see, we had just unlocked the special cat, flower cat, and we are going to go grab that in the upgrade menu for zero XP. Fascinated by pretty petals, never forgets the water every day, might stop black enemies. This cat, as of now, is not useful. There are no black enemies, and we don't have the XP to fully upgrade it to its second level. So you don't have to necessarily unlock that cat right now, but it is a good cat to just get out of the way. It took me forever to figure out how to get that cat after watching many YouTubers have it. But anyway, there he is, the beautiful boy flower cat that will be useful in much later episodes. But that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next one.